eco use are under threat. The Game and Wildlife Conservation Trust says in some areas of the UK the population is declining by 17% a year. But the GWCT says on land managed by gamekeepers the numbers are increasing by 14% a year. Curlews are probably our bird of, um, of highest conservation priority um, in the UK. Their populations have declined significantly and they are really only hanging on in many areas. But there is one area where they continue to thrive and those are areas where you have gamekeeping activity being undertaken. It's really sad to think that we could see the extinction of curlew in the next 20 or 30 years. So generations to come won't hear that iconic call from Britain's largest wader. The reason that curlew do so well on land managed for shooting is effectively we offer them protection. So the legal predator control undertaken by the gamekeepers means that they can safely raise their chicks and they can get a sustainable population going in those areas. The other thing they get is they get wet areas to wade in, they get areas that they can forage and eat in, and they get longer tussocky bits of vegetation that they can lay their eggs in. So we've created an environment which is absolutely perfect for the curlew and many other waders as well and red-listed birds. It's a great example of how gamekeepers are the guardians of the countryside. A report that studied the activities of nearly a thousand gamekeepers identified the often unrecognised high level of conservation that this group of skilled and knowledgeable land and wildlife managers undertake nationally. The gamekeepers who responded to the survey in 2019 by the National Gamekeepers Organisation, the Scottish Gamekeepers Association and the Game and Wildlife Conservation Trust manage more than four million acres of land across England, Scotland and Wales. Hands off management areas are proclaiming that they have fantastic fledging numbers and bird assemblages with no active predator control and limited habitat management. Often when you look into it, these areas are surrounded or they benefit from their neighbours who are actively managing predators and habitat. Gamekeepers undertake a variety of conservation work, including planting wild bird cover, re-wetting moorland and planting trees. I'm currently stood in North Yorkshire. The wood behind me is part of the local pheasant shoot. And again, the landscape that you drive through in this area and across many areas of the country has been shaped by shooting and country sports. Without this, without this, there's a, there's a pheasant calling over the way at the moment. Without this woodland, then we wouldn't have the, uh, the woodland birds, we wouldn't have the glades, we wouldn't have the open patches and areas which are suitable for reptiles, we wouldn't have the invertebrates, we wouldn't have the protected hedgerows. And remember the thousands and thousands of hectares of cover crops that are planted each year. Rich in biodiversity, different species, ideal for feeding through the, uh, the hungry gap of the winter. And then think about the hard work that the gamekeepers do, the feeding of those birds, the making sure that in uh, December and January, when birds are struggling to find food, the gamekeepers out feeding these birds. Woodland management undertaken to support pheasant shoots delivers tremendous biodiversity. Uh, small farm woodlands have very little economic value, but shooting often provides incentive to manage these small farm woodlands, um, opening up the canopy, encouraging the understory, that shrub layer that then develops to provide habitat for the pheasants. That's where most of the wildlife is in woodlands. So the butterflies, the wild pollinators, songbirds, they thrive in game managed woods. The study found that during winter, and after the shooting season, gamekeepers fed game and farmland birds. Gamekeepers have a vital role in rural conservation. They do so much more than just organise a shoot day or lead a group of local people in, in a beating operation or you know, control predators or release birds. They, they, they do so many different jobs. One area of conservation work that is essential to protect red-listed species and vulnerable animals is predator control. These animals, once they start to take them out of the nest, you know, it's like when they start to kill lambs, they will just go back and kill them all. That's what they do, you know. If it goes in a chicken coop, it doesn't kill one chicken, it kills every single chicken. That's its nature, you know. 
It's a good looking mass murderer. It's not because I hate the fox. It's because I know we need to control them and that will make a difference for our ground nesting birds and a lot of other things as well that rock on from that. The conservation work done by gamekeepers is under threat as new legislation could jeopardise shoots which employ many of them. In Wales, government proposals to licence game bird releasing could devastate shooting. The work undertaken by gamekeepers on land managed for shooting benefits so many other species, not just the birds that end up on our kitchen table. And this must be taken into account. It is proven that red listed species like the curlew, for example, have done better on grouse moors and on land managed for game shooting. If Welsh Government go ahead with their proposals to licence the release of pheasant and partridge here in Wales, it is inevitable that we will have less day shooting. That means less land in Wales will be managed for game shooting and it will mean that we will have less gamekeepers here in Wales. So we will not have the same volume of conservation work that has been undertaken under the banner of good shoot management here in Wales. In England, a change to the general licences is wreaking havoc. Game birds weren't exempt from the general licences, which was set up to protect migratory birds, until Boris Johnson's government included them. Norfolk gamekeeper Stephen Musk has applied for a licence as his chute is close to a special protection area. It is a designated site for the protection of birds. The birds that are protected are the mainly the stone curlew, uh, nightjar and the woodlark. If we were to be, if the licence was to be rejected and all the conservation work that, that goes alongside with shooting um, would be lost and potentially harm for those, those bird species. Since 2019, when Natural England temporarily cancelled their general licences, the government has imposed strict limits on shooting some scavenging birds, such as corvids and gulls. On grouse moors, gamekeepers employ a variety of tactics to protect wildlife, including using gas guns to scare away crows and gulls. We are some of the best conservationists in the country and without that shoot underpinning the social interaction and the economic stimulus, then there is a real concern that from a biodiversity point of view, we will seriously suffer. And that's from protected sites and red listed birds right the way down to your average farm shoot is also delivering for that broader biodiversity. So yes, we're extremely concerned that restrictions on shoots or shoots not being able to function would mean that effectively biodiversity will suffer in the, in the long term. Gamekeepers are the unsung heroes of conservation as their work ensures the countryside and its wildlife are protected for future generations.